எல்லாருக்கும் வணக்கம் ஐ நோ லிட்டில் மோர் செலு ஐ மீன் தமிழ் தன் திஸ் பட் ஐ நீட் அசோக் டு பி ஸ்டாண்டிங் நெக்ஸ்ட் டு மீ அண்ட் ஸோ யூ கேன் கைட் மீ but it's okay it don't come now <laughs> it's going to be very difficult uh, um, uh, please don't mind me speaking in uh, uh, english uh, i also grew up here in chennai from and actually i was born in chennai and uh, but then later on father took me to uh, hyderabad and i did my studying here in uh, gindi engineering college it was called gindi then um so i am a part of chennai this is like a home coming every time i come here i the streets look familiar the bridges look familiar everything looks familiar and it brings back fond memories of uh, chennai <clears throat> um before i talk about ghost first let me congratulate uh, mani sir mani ratnam i call him mani so <laughs> let me con- congratulate mani for his uh, uh, incredible success of ponian selvan it's always been his dream and he had talked about it before um, uh, to me also quite a few times um, and uh, uh, he's proven that what a master craftsman he always was and is because i have such fond memories of working with him in uh, geetanjali rite te tridad um, uh, a long time ago in 1988 Uh, and i've seen his journey of uh, work and that went through and what he's achieved and once again he's proven in that film i like to congratulate vikram i like to congratulate my dear brother karthi and jayam ravi and aishwarya rai and trisha and of course the musical master of uh, ar rahman i like to congratulate all of them for a wonderful piece of art they given us <coughs> uh uh like mukesh said i do <laughs> a lot of people who say when do i do telugu i mean tamil cinema when do when are you doing and i have done a few uh rakshakan was my first but before that i became very popular with the manis uh, film gitanjali and after that i came with a film called uh, udayam and that also became uh, the people appreciated it a lot and then i did uh, rakshakan uh, and uh, that also was appreciated and um, and then in in recently i've done a film called uh, thola 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 the pronunciation thola thola yeah i did that film and uh, uh, i've become so close to karthi during that shooting and it's almost like a he's become a brother to me and um, it was a wonderful experience that was appreciated a lot of people appreciated that and especially uh, the media and everybody appreciated that film and i had done one more film called gaganam uh, i don't know the tamil painam 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 i did that also and um, so i have i've been in touch with tamil nadu all the time and um, our ghost uh, uh, the world has become a smaller place the country has become a smaller place um people are appreciating movies all over the world all over the country whatever language it is it does not matter anymore as far, far, as long as the content is fine uh, they are appreciating it i think covid has taught us to do that uh, to appreciate different languages different nationalities uh, different countries everything has become a, co- uh, a closer place and um, we never had a um, 
idea when we started it was called the ghost in telugu here it's called rachan um mm, uh we never had the idea we were going to do it in uh, uh, tamil also uh, or uh, any other language but once we started uh, fini- once we finished the film and we saw it we thought this is a universal film and it will be appreciated here also so we took the opportunity and uh, whatever little things which we had to do for the film so everything looks uh, seamless in a tamil film we did that and ashok had come and helped me do the dubbing i said i want to do the dubbing myself for this film and uh, uh, the 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 words came back to me in my head but uh, he helped me form them and uh, he helped me with my pronunciation as much and thank you ashok for that it was wonderful doing it uh, all over it brought back so many memories you don't even understand uh, the memories um and uh, we did that and uh, um man i did the dubbing and uh, uh, i hope you once you see the product you like it i don't want to talk too much about the film i believe that the film itself should talk once it releases it's releasing very soon in uh, two or three days it's uh, fifth right yeah. fifth yeah it's in fifth year also so it's in just couple of days so um, uh, we are very excited and looking forward to present it to you um i always now again let me go back to the uh, uh, covid or, or uh, this thing for people to come people have gotten used to watching uh, films on the small screen because all the theaters were closed and they have gotten used to that habit now for people to come to the theaters they need an x factor they need something more than what we can give them uh, on a, a small screen for them to come to the theaters and buy the tickets and watch the film and i believe we try to achieve that um with our action sequences uh with the family emotions which we have created Prave- praveen as uh, my directors uh done that achievement because it is whatever the action sequences are very very different from generally what we see and uh, uh he has made me practice not just me sonal also practice for these action sequences and i had to use a samurai sword which is generally not used in indian action sequences and a samurai sword with a black and white suit with the samurai sword itself gives a very different visual and the samurai sword sword it itself brings a great sense of style if it is used properly and it should almost become an extension of its hand, of of a person's hand and we went through a lot of training and generally um, the lead pair usually have songs to dance to but here we had an action sequence to dance to praveen choreographed it and the dinesh the our fight master uh, they all choreographed it in a way as if it's like a song they shot it like a song it is going to look very very nice on screen a very different visual which you have probably haven't seen and um, this is one of the x factor we have in this film and also i believe film is just not an visual medium i believe it's an audio visual me- medium also so uh, we really uh, mukesh took care of the visual side but uh, praveen and the the music directors and the the mixing engineers and the fx guys and the di people all of them made sure that the sound is another experience in this when you watch it in a theater and um, the background score or this, the sound effects what they have done is they've taken it to the next level i believe that's another x factor which we have in this film and um, it's going to be a a nice visual audio visual experience for all of you and we're very very excited to present it to you and i hope you like it on october 5th thank you